Welcome to Start Art. This is Dr. Dom, the Wizard of Art. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Daryl Thompson. Daryl Thompson is a very good, realistic artist. You should really see his work. Well, you'll get a chance to see his work. Also, he is one of the merchants in downtown Oakland here. He does tattoos. Have you been tattooed? Stay tuned for Mr. Daryl Thompson on Start Art with Dr. Don, the Wizard of Art. Dr. Don here, the Wizard of Art. Welcome to Start Art. We're in Oakland, downtown Oakland, and we're here to motivate you, inspire you, uplift you, help you get over, I can't, I can't, I can't, but I can, 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 is the flavor for today. Special artist with us today, Mr. Daryl Thompson. Daryl is a good friend of mine, been known him for years. He's all over the Bay Area. He began in airbrushing, if I'm correct, and if not, he'll help me out on that. Uh, skis, motorcycles, car doors, boats, skateboards. Now he's incorporated body tattoo art in his artwork. Now, that's old. That's old. Long time ago, centuries ago, tattooing was the favorite of cultures and tribes. But we have one here today that's a master, the master tattooist in Oakland, the only Afro-American shop owned, Mr. Daryl Thompson. Start Art is on the air. Welcome, Daryl. How you doing, Don? Good to see Good you see again. Good to see you again, man. Uh, it's been almost 30 years yeah. since we met on Start Art. Well, 25, and, yeah, something like that. And it, it hasn't been a waste because here you are again with more achievements and accomplishments under your belt yes. than you had before and I'm glad we had a chance to meet. It was meant to be. Yeah. Were you born? Born in Oakland. Oakland, yeah, born California. Yeah, in Oakland, California. Oak, Oak Town. Kaiser Hospital. Kaiser Hospital. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I was here till about nine months and uh, we moved to Anchorage, Alaska. See. How long yeah, were we there? So I, I grew up in Anchorage, uh, mainly from uh, nine months old to I was about eighteen. All right. Uh, off and on, came back to Oakland. I had I had family here, so I spent a lot of summers growing up in Oakland, also. Right. But uh, yeah, primarily right there in Anchorage. Where were you educated? Anchorage or Oakland? Um, through high school, I was educated in Anchorage, I and uh, actually came uh, went to Laney College back in nineteen eighty. Studying art. Studying art. Yeah. Studying art. Yeah, okay. started studying art. Uh, went, to, uh, went to Laney for a couple of years and uh, then um, uh, prematurely started a family. And so, uh, uh, so most of my art education, my grown up art education, has been on my own. When did this Artist Within start emerging and you answered the call? What age? Wow. Um, if you can recall. I didn't even really know that's what was going on. I just drew. I, I grew up primarily only child. I have a younger brother that grew up here in the Bay Area, and we would get together in the summer times. But pretty much growing up, I was only child. So, um, what age was that? Um, wow, well, probably about four or five. You were metamorphosing. Yeah. At that time, with yeah. the creative. Well, my mom had to keep me quiet in church, so. Um, there we go. One of the things I discovered at that age was every hymnal book had a clear sheet of paper, had like one or two clear sheets of paper. I, I got you. And so, I, you know, doing church or whatever, I'd be drawing. Uh, so, and, uh, so or whatever now, spare time I had. Sorry to interrupt you mm -hmm. so abruptly. But so now, wherever that church is, if it's still standing, oh, or, those, yeah. or those hymn books, wherever they are, <laughs> they all have illustrations from by Daryl Thompson. Four-year-old Daryl Thompson. Which yeah. is great because I began in Oakland at eight, 
Six on brown paper bags. Okay. Believe it or not. Okay. Believe it or not. I, I mean, I was okay. bubbling over. I didn't know anything about using white paper or, or yellow paper or green. I, I, I had grocery bags. Okay. But that's where I began. So you've been at this quite some time. Quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah. I remember when I first met you over uh, in uh, Oakland by the lake there. I saw your work. I was inspired to uh, do a show with you at KDOL. Right, right. And uh, I've had a lot of comments from people, people calling me, asking me how can they make contact with you. But it's good to see that with all the achievements that you have, that you brought them back to downtown Oakland. Oh, yeah. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah. So a, a lot of times we get breaks as, as, as Afro-American artists or black artists, whatever we want to call, and we go straight to Europe and we forsake the community. And Oakland is a very, very special city it is. in it the is. United States of America. Yes. It's a melting pot for visual and, and music right. among, oh, yeah, among blacks, whites, Asians, whatever, and it, it has a lot to offer. You uh, paint because of what? What drives you? Passion. Passion. It's a straight passion. A passion to do what? Uh, um, is there a commitment with that passion? or? It, it's a passion within myself to just be the, um, the best artist within myself. There you go. Pretty much. Uh, go. That sounds good. You know, uh, in, in, in my career, I've done a lot of art for other people. Right. And, uh, and that's what I like about right now that I tattoo because that's my service to people. Now that's something new, tattooing. Uh, skateboards, boats, bikes. T-shirts. Uh, T-shirts, yeah. uh, possibly some shoes, drums, uh, guitars. I've seen you do it, I've, I've seen your work. I've, I've oh, yeah. passed by a couple of your places here. But now you're working on the human body. Right. Artwork, creativity. Except I, I think that's great. Uh, talk to me about that a little bit. Well, I, I was introduced actually before when I met you when I first came came to the Bay Area. Well, not when I first came when I first came back to the Bay Area in 1993. Um, after leaving Alaska, I was um, uh, my tattoo artist there offered me an apprenticeship. Great. And um, at the time, I I, um, I didn't really take it. I, I it was something I wanted to do. Um, I would have had to stay in Anchorage another three or four years, which right. I was I was already I already had the U-Haul rented coming back to the Bay Area. I was right. al already on the way back here making a move. Right. Uh, once I got to the Bay Area, um, um, I just wasn't welcomed um, as much uh, as far as a lot of shops I would I would visit. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, it was uh, there was really. Um, there was Latinos, but there was not too many people of color. There was Dr. Don. At the time. There was Dr. And, Don. Uh, yeah. and, and you know what impressed me with you? Because we had this conversation back then, mm -hmm. or, or Tavis Smiley would say, back in that day. Okay. Okay. What impressed me is that you kept a newspaper article concerning your work in an exhibit. Now, that impressed me. I said, the brother is doing something. He didn't Good. leave Alaska without a legacy. Oh yeah, yeah. I and had you, my own. Right. I had my own airbrush shop there. R right, for about and you, four, you brought four that to me, years. and I said, "Wow, what's my job to reach out and help and connect?" Mm -hmm. And that's why I had you on the show. I said, "Wow, I'm impressed." Okay, okay. I, I was impressed. Uh, tell me about your work. Uh, let's make it twofold. Color, mm -hmm. color airbrushing, and tattooing. What about your work? Okay. Your paintings and well, the human body. And the human body. So, like I said, right now, um, tattooing is just my, my main passion. It's like, um, like I said, it's 18 years on the back burner. Um, I started on myself. Very first tattoo I ever did was on my arm. All right and friends and family and it, it kind of just grew from there and it, it grew from people seeing my airbrush work right. and 
asking me, you know, how much this is, that is, you know, can I do this, to maybe the third or fourth question was, do you tattoo? And I just got tired of saying no. There you go. And uh, um, I started very unorthodox. You know, a lot of people started doing uh, apprenticeships. I started pretty much on my own, like I said, working on myself, working on friends and family. But I had good friends that tattooed. Right. So a lot of times I would take uh, my clients to them. Yeah. You know, they would school me and yeah. say, well, you know, you can do this, you can do that, you know. Great. And, uh, and it's, it started from there. So to, to the degree that when I first uh, um, applied at the shop, they hired me. Great. Great. And uh, with no experience as far as the only experience I have is just doing it at home. Good. And I learned a lot more from those artists. Yeah. And um, if I might say... You keep getting back to one important point that all of us, whether we're Hans Hoffman, whether Picasso was here, mm -hmm. or Van Gogh, it's the association with not just other artists, but with the public because the public will, when they ask questions, they'll pull things out of you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, color, color, let's, let's, let's talk about color. And I'm going to add another one, surface. There's a difference between working on canvas, oh yeah, wood, oh yeah, uh, 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 fiberglass, and human skin, one is definitely a different feeling than the other oh. because the canvas, the wood, the paper, the plexiglass, there are no feelings, there are no nerves. Right. But when we get the flesh, yeah, there's a certain amount of pressure. There's certain amount. Of Pressure, right. a certain amount of needle depth, uh, a certain amount of time you can work on this. And, and you were you able know. to do that balance of, of not being heavy handed here and heavy handed here. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Color. Yeah. Color. Yeah. How was color application between canvas and skin? And well, the thing, the thing is with, with the skin is, is uh, you know, well, well, with canvas or any other thing, it's very forgiving. You can always cover back up and right. come back. And restart all over Absolutely. again. With the tattoo, you have to. It has to be a very strategic plan on what's going where, how's it going, concentration, and how long you're going to work on yeah. it. You know, and uh, that you learn as you go. But um, um, and then working. You know, I started on dark skin. Right. So um, that that's that's the thing about you know working on light skin and dark skin, you know, certain colors you can't use on dark skin. Right, right. Um, and there's certain ways that you can get the, skin, uh, the ink in darker skin. Um, a right. lot of artists don't like working on dark skin. Right, and, right. Uh, I understand. So um, those are things I've learned through, without, throughout the years right. of, of tattooing. Well, um, you've, you've mastered that well because the times that I've stopped by the shop downtown Oakland here, I've seen that that Daryl knows what he's doing, and I'm impressed, and, I, and I, I feel something. I might be in a hurry going to my secretary or, or catching the, the subway to go to San Francisco, but every time I pass, it makes my heart beat to know that, wow, I worked with this guy 35 years ago, and here he is downtown with other that he's training other artists, and your work is on the wall there. We're going to make a visit to Daryl's studio, the Axel Tattoo Shop, and you will be able to see firsthand more of Daryl's work and the environment that's created in that shop. Yes, uh, yes, and I mean, speaking of passion, I mean, that is, um, man, that, um, I, I thank God every day I walk in the shop and, uh, and to see the people I've got a tremendous a uh, re way. respect for everybody I work yes. with there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true blessing. What do you think the future of art is in Oakland? The future of art in Oakland um, for the black artists. For the black artists, um, I see some youngsters doing some real, real, real cool stuff. Uh, there's some very talented young young guys. Out and you think they I, have a chance? I think they have a chance. Yes. I think uh, with the social media uh, as it is today, communication is instant. Okay. The advantage of us helping each other. Yeah. 
It's not always about that S with that line going through it called the dollar sign. It's about, hey, if you're compassionate about what you do as a creative person, mm -hmm. you want to also go and volunteer and bring it back to your community yeah. and share it. Yeah. Because what goes around comes around. Comes around. People are, oh, I'll worry about that later. That's the last thing you want to do is worry about it later. We're going to visit you. We're going to show you Daryl's working shop, downtown Oakland, Afro-American man who has, in 30 years that I've known him, he has moved forward, forward. This is Start Art bringing this to you. So yeah, so you, you, you'd ask me about my col the color in my art is... Uh, the color in your art and the colors you use in your tattoos. Uh, yeah. What, what, are, are there certain colors Well, I, I'm, I'm driven by... Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I like the black and gray style in, tat in tattooing. I do a lot of black and gray, but I'm, I do color also as far right. as tattooing. But my color and my art really came, came from stuff Growing, growing up, just seeing color and artwork, and, and, so, and it's and necessary, absolutely necessary. It's, it's necessary, definitely, right. uh, especially with with airbrush. It's uh, it's so easy to blend the colors. Right. You know, I started off in, in watercolor. I well, I started off, you know, graphite first, and then watercolor, mm -hmm. and then went to airbrush from uh, from watercoloring. Um, but you know, growing up in Alaska, it was you know I didn't you know a lot of my work is figurative. Right, right. And, uh, you know, the art there is more um, wilderness, uh, Symbol trees, symbolism. And stuff like symbolism. symbolism. Uh, yes. And, uh, but my visits, you know, over the years coming to Oakland, everything was, you know, you get, as a child, you get inspired by so many different things. Absolutely. And I was so inspired just uh, when we would land in San Francisco Airport and the drive from San Francisco to Oakland. You have billboards in right. the Bay Area. We didn't have billboards in Alaska. Yeah, so absolutely. you have all these bright billboards with these colors and these lights and stuff like that, especially at nighttime. Yeah, right. And that was, uh, that really inspired me as a child. Uh -huh. Okay. That, that is fantastic. And, and that's the way it's supposed to work yeah. with us. The environment is part of whatever we put on canvas or body or, or wood or whatever. Now, Downtown Oakland. What made you come downtown Oakland? I love downtown Oakland. And what is, what, <laughs> what is let's say, give us a, a brief synopsis of, of what happens in your shop, the people, the, well, let's say the clientele, the clamor, the excitement, et cetera. Okay, so I, um, I, I moved in downtown almost a year ago, last, sep last August. A year ago. And uh, uh, came from a shop. We were in Fruitvale. And uh, that location, I have been scoping probably about a year. Right. And uh, I'm, I, I, um, I became a partner with the owner of the other shop. I managed that shop for about a year and a half right. in Fruitvale. And um, I became a partner, and then I was like, man, we're moving. You're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Okay. I found the space, 
and uh, it, it it was so funny because um, things just started happening so fast. So I started thinking about. I had a conversation with him about being a partner. We partnered up. Uh, talked to somebody about um, looking for another space. Right. Things just start boom, boom, boom. Uh, within a week, I was looking at this space, and I was like, "Whoa!" You know, kind of scared me at first because right. it was just things was happening so fast. Right. And uh, so I kind of, I was kind of slowed down for a minute, and uh, a couple months after that, we, we got the there. space. Well, you chose a place that has, from my feeling and an observation, a lot of ambience in it. Tell me about what vibes, electricity you feel with the different cultures that walk in there. Is it a lively place? Is it, is it you know, what's, what's the theme there? Is, you know, when we first moved in, you know, people were like, oh, excuse wow. Excuse me. It's got to be different than a dentist's office. Oh, yeah. Or a doctor's office. Oh, yeah. So it's got to have oh, yeah. a lot of vibration and it, electricity it, flowing through there. It's a lot of vibration. Yeah. You can almost feel Oakland. Uh, you, you can just feel the blood of Oakland good, right good. downtown. Yeah, that's great. You know, that's um, great. The heartbeat. It's like, you know, um, so many people, so many, right. you know, daily Move, go up and down, you know, for, yeah, for the past centuries or whatever. So it's uh, that's a busy corner. It's a busy corner. Busy corner. Now, is there a special rapport that you have to have? Uh, well, guys don't like to be touched, even if they're taken to the emergency room. <laughs> and they don't like to be touched by the doctor, whether it's male or female. But for them to allow you to touch their body, along with the females, a lot of people are very sensitive about that. Yeah. What kind of rapport do you prime well, them prior to that, uh, uh, the appointment? Or does that happen on the spot? What do you talk to them about? How do you soothe them, relax them, and make them feel like, hey, got your back? Well, what's so unique about our shop is that it's wide open. Wide open. You can walk by and see someone get tattooed, which is I've done really that. unusual yes. for a tattoo shop. Usually a tattoo shop Curtains. either has separate rooms, or, you know, they have a space you come in front, right. and everybody's tattooing in the back. Right. Or, we're wide open. You can walk around and just see someone getting tattooed. What do you see the fu in the future for Oakland for nonprofit community art where we all get together and support each other in the visual arts to make this the mecca that it could be? More collaborations with uh, different organizations, more collaborations uh, with, you know, you have different groups here, different groups over there right. and over here doing things and just getting everybody to collaborate, coming to meeting. Uh, coming together. Meeting, coming together and talk about it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm seeing several murals being put up in Oakland. Uh, I, I visit Philadelphia uh, probably about eight years ago. And that whole town, the murals are just, you know, just... You wouldn't even think you'll go around a building and it's, you know, a giant yes. mural. Isn't that nice? And, uh, you know, just creating more, you know, creating more passion in the art and, right. and uh, just letting, you know, showing youngsters and showing kids, you know, they're taking so many things out of schools. You know, I grew up, we had art classes, we had music classes. Tell and, me about it. Tell me about and that's my passion, art right. and music. I'm also a musician. I'm a drummer at my church and in a couple bands. And, um, and even on Fridays, we have, uh, you know, I have a, a, a jam session outside right. the shop. Right. Uh, right. When, when it, you know, if nothing else, if Joyce is not doing it in the gallery right. or nothing else is going on, we have jam sessions you right. know, now, till late at night. Any publications? On publications, oh man, back in the day, probably back in the '80s, I did a, a Rumors album cover. Okay. Yeah. We're Time going to Social Club. Sounds good to me. I, Berkeley, I, yeah. I thought I'd ask. I was sure you did. We're going to close on this, and we thank you for coming. And thank you. I wanna actually you know, want to give you something. We um, have we have you back here at Start Art. This is just thanks for over oh, the years of wow. knowing you. This is a print of. Um, the original. Great. Hold, hold it. Sure. Hold it. Do it this On way. the edges there. There we no. go. This, this way. way. This way. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. This is Star Art with Dr. Don. Not just Dr. Don, but the Wizard of Art and 
our local treasure here, national artist, airbrush and tattooist, Mr. Daryl Thompson. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the gift. You're welcome.